Hi guys, welcome to another video. Okay, so my Filmora Trail video is out uh, yesterday, and I saw many questions and uh, at the comment section. So I decided to make a video just to answer all of your question instead of typing because I'm just too lazy for typing. Okay, so hopefully I can answer all of your question. Okay, so this is a video and the question I got until now about 56 or 60 or stuff like that. Okay, so first up, uh, the first question is from uh, Brian Kushner. Where is the total timeline? Or oh, where is the total time of the video that used to appear at the top of the screen in version 11? Okay, so if you are talking about the duration, for example, if you if you put a video on the timeline, you see the duration. Okay, so this is the timeline and it, it is also the duration of the video. And we can see the duration of the video right here on top right of the timeline. And if we put the playhead at the end, at the end of the video or at the end of your project, you see the duration here. It's up here right here. So it is 20, 21 second, 3 frame. So this is the project. Okay, so that is the first question. And the question number one, number two uh, from Prem Tripura. Tripura. Can I upgrade to Fimora? Can I upgrade my Fimora 11 to Fimora 12? Do I need to pay extra charge? Please reply. So actually, you can upgrade to Fimora 12 uh, for free if you are a lifetime license Fimora 9 user or you purchase Fimora 11 within three months from yesterday. And if not, or other user, you have to pay an extra cost is around 30, 30 US dollar. Okay, so if you pay 30 US dollar, you can upgrade to Filmora 12 and it is inside your software. They will ask you to pay. All right. And the next question, I don't like Filmora 12. How do I downgrade to Filmora 11? And actually, actually right now you can download the software from office website and install it and it is still Filmora 11. By the way, if you want to downgrade to earlier version, I will put the link in the description for you to go to the support page and download the older version. Okay. So question number number four. I have no idea. Number four or five from uh, Kiba Yaiba. I have to. I have Filmora 11, but I just checked the update, but it looks like it's not working. Please, I need help. What can I do? So actually, they are rolling out Filmora 12 now, but sometimes uh, when we check for updates uh, in Filmora 11 and we cannot uh, get Filmora 12, so just be patient. Wait maybe a few days more, okay? When they completely rolling out the Filmora 12 so we can upgrade to Filmora 12 easily inside the software, okay? Uh, this is a question from my Vietnamese uh, fan. Có bản chính thức chưa anh? Minh Phước Nhân. So he wants to ask if uh, he has the official version of Filmora 12. Okay, yes, we have official Filmora 12 now. Or we have Filmora 12 official version now. now. So this question is from Gross X695. With Filmora 12, it is it no longer allow you to stretch four by three video to fill widescreen review screen. This was very important for me. Upgrade no longer an option for me. And actually you can, yes, you can straight out your video. Uh, even if your, your ratio is four by three. Okay, let me show you how to do that. For example, here inside Filmora. And this is my widescreen video or 16 by nine project. And if I go to my media and this is a four by three video. Just right and drop it onto the timeline. So the first option, if you want to fulfill the screen, all you need to do is to crop to fit this video. You can just right click and select crop to fit. And it is the first solution. Okay, and I'm going to undo it. And the, the next option is to scale up the video. If you want to scale up the video, you can just double click at the video here, or you can just click here at the preview window. And now you can click at the edge here and then you can scale up the video okay so but I'm going to undo it and here we have the transform option also at the property and now you want to scale up the video all you need to do is to slide this to the right to scale up but sometimes you want to just scale up X position or or Y position then you have to unlock the scale here okay so there's a lock icon here you want to unlock it and now you can scale 
horizontally or vertically like this okay so hopefully this is the answer for your question okay and this is a question from melody v melody and six four one nine and too long so how to find my save effects and custom text after upgrade and actually when you upgrade the software your custom effect and custom text or stuff like that it is still inside the, inside the software okay so you don't have to do anything and just remember do not delete the older version okay so this is a question from riding Humboldt County I download it and I'm not digging it at all I unstore it and went back to Filmora 11 what happened to the audio keyframe okay so the audio keyframe is still here uh, let me show you about the audio keyframe for example if we have a music file okay go to audio and I'm going to select the music file uh, this one just run drop onto the timeline and now if I want to add audio keyframe to this music file all I need to do is to double click at the music file here and we have the keyframe here so normally it will be on the left side and down at the, the volume slider okay but now we can add the, the keyframe to the volume for example at this point I can add one keyframe with this button just add one keyframe and then I want to move some frame forward for example and then I can add another keyframe so this is the second keyframe and now I can just reduce the volume here and you see here we create some keyframe for the audio okay and at this position I can add another keyframe and then I can restore the volume to this level and this is the audio keyframe okay so that's nice right okay and the last question is about the performance of Filmora 12 and in my opinion the performance of the software depends very much on your computer if you have a strong enough computer to edit video you have no problem with Filmora 12 for me I've been using Filmora 12 for about 10 or 12 days with no issue so if you have any problem with the performance just check your computer and maybe you can contact the support to to ask some question because I have no idea because for me it is okay it is smooth I created some project for my clients also and the performance is very good the exporting speed is similar to Filmora 11 okay so that's all for today's video I hope this video is helpful for you if you have any more questions about Filmora 12 let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video goodbye